So slowly Christmas time is starting to approach again. People are going to start shopping again for presents and also for microscopes. And uh, the question today that I would like to answer is, is uh, about buying microscopes for very young children. As a matter of fact, I received a, a question here which I would like to read out uh, to you. And then I would like to give you my take on the situation here. Uh, but maybe the answer is going to be a little bit different than what you expected. But let's, let's get started first here. I know toy microscopes are not good and you can get a decent one for a low price. Uh, but do you think it's still a bad idea to get a toy microscope for a five-year-old? In my country, the price gap is huge. What costs $75 in the US might be $140 in my country and the average salary is $600 a month. So having said that, would a $20 toy microscope be useless for a kid to start? Or would it be discouraging? Thanks uh, everyone. So thank you very much uh, for the question and I'm going to answer it right away. I think yes, it is a bad idea to buy a toy microscope uh, for a five-year-old, but not only that, I think it's a bad idea to buy any microscope for a five-year-old. Uh, doesn't matter if it's a toy microscope or not. Um, uh, let me explain. I think that five-year-old children are still too young to make sense of the things that you see under a microscope and considering the fact that many microscopes that are cheap are actually compound microscopes these are those that have eyepieces and several objectives to be rotated in place basically the image is too abstract kids of five years are not able to make sense of images like this in the background which is a cross section of a plant right um, that's too abstract um, the kids have not yet learned eye hand coordination which is required for focusing um, so there are lots of issues and um, I would say that uh, microscopes at that age are not a natural and normal extension of their own senses if you want to buy any microscope for younger children and I think they should be older than five years if you want to buy any microscope for younger children then consider going for so-called stereo microscopes which give you an upright image and where you do not use slides but where you can put everyday objects directly under the microscope that is more of an of a natural extension of your senses um, of the children's senses and this allows the children also to get in more into direct contact with their immediate environment but uh, I would probably completely go into a different direction um, if you are looking for a present for a child just forget about uh, microscopes for that age group generally and consider something completely different um, I know that this sounds strange if I say it coloring books are much better picture books with animals are much better so if you are as a parent are interested in the education of your child because you do not want them to spend too much time behind a mobile phone I think uh, five-year-olds should not be given mobile phones in any case uh, but that's my personal opinion um, if you do not want your kids to spend too much time on on on, on computers and on IT devices then yeah I, I think it's necessary to to find alternatives uh, that um, are directly much more interactive and microscopes are not really interactive it requires a certain amount of skill uh, parental supervision I suppose that this is going to be provided in any case because you cannot just put a child behind a microscope and then expect that they're going to be happily observing their environment. It's just not going to happen. Um, microscopes are simply not interactive enough. And for this reason, um, if you want to buy any type of uh, microscope for children older than five years, you still, uh, as a parent, have to get involved. Um, so I know this is a little bit frustrating um, because now, now what? What present should you give your child? Yeah, if you're not one interested in giving coloring books or, or um, yeah, watercolors or, or um, picture books of animals, then I recommend that either you get them some kind of magnifying glass for natural exploration or even, even binoculars, uh, I, I think, uh, uh, will do the trick because this is a more natural extension of, of their everyday senses, right? Um, and for this reason, um, I think um, it's a much better investment uh, to, to try, uh, yeah, alternatives here um, and binoculars do have the advantage that essentially you can take them along everywhere um, you do not need to prepare anything and uh, kids can use them essentially also without uh, much parental supervision uh, yeah if you basically um, buy them a microscope you as a parent have to get involved but maybe that's exactly the thing that you want to do maybe you want to have uh, some kind of device that you um, as a parent uh, can do a common activity with your child that's also fine um, but then just be aware that if the age of the child is too young, you know, probably the parent is going to do most um, of the microscopy. And, and, and I do have to say something as well. It is uh, really question the reason why you were considering buying a microscope for, for, for children. Is it really for the child or do you yourself have a certain interest? And I think that's good if you are interested yourself in microscopy because, yeah, as I said, said 
um, as a parent, you do need a certain amount of, of guidance. Um, you need to provide a certain amount of guidance to your child. Um, otherwise, the child is simply going to have a nice uh, a microscope standing around, uh, toy or otherwise. Yeah? Um, and then what? Right? But now let me uh, add another um, aspect here, why I'm a little bit critical of toy microscopes generally. And if you do consider buying a microscope uh, for children, then maybe you do want to invest a little bit more. First of all, good, decent microscopes um, that are not toys, but uh, essentially introductory microscopes can already be bought for fairly low price. And I've got one, as a matter of fact, up here. Okay, so those microscopes over here, um, essentially, um, I don't know, they, they, I would not consider them toy anymore. Um, I would say them really uh, for children, uh, introductory microscopes um, that have two focusing knobs, coarse and fine focusing knobs, um, three objectives over here, um, a single a single eyepiece to look through because kids generally have a problem looking through two eyepieces anyway because they see a double image, right? Um, so my suggestion is to invest a little bit more money into uh, one of those and they are not expensive either, at least not to my standards. They cost around 100 um, US dollars, 120, but I understand as we've read just before in the in the comments and in the questions, even that can be a significant amount of money for, for, for some people, right? Um, but generally I would say that uh, these have a much more value. It's made of metal mostly, right? It has uh, real eyepieces here. Um, of course, uh, no proper condenser, but that's okay. Uh, for children that's fine so that's something that i would definitely um, go for and as i mentioned before those uh, stereo microscopes i've got one standing up here i'm also going to show this to you this one is a slightly heavier larger model and uh, this one over here just for those of you who don't know this yet um, allows you to directly place objects on the stage here so if you want to observe insects uh, right away uh, plants uh, leaves whatever rocks just put the things directly on the stage here and you can look um, at the um, specimen directly using those uh, two eyepieces and then you get a uh, upright stereoscopic view. Very impressive uh, sometimes uh, to um, yeah look at a little bit at the dirt on your fingers and your fingernails and, and skin and all these things. Quite interesting to observe, um, much more approachable um, and accessible, that's the right term, for, for children. Uh, but again, those devices here also cost a little bit more, right? But generally, I think all of this is, is not relevant right now. Let me put this back here because I think generally for, for children, five-year-olds, um, I think um, I, I wouldn't buy um, a, a microscope at all in the first place. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Um, maybe you have uh, similar opinions, maybe you have different opinions um, on this. Uh, please uh, do write something in the comments section below. Um, yeah, and I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting. As always, see you around next time. Bye-bye.